Hey everyone, the recipe of the week is chewy caramel brownies courtesy of the Good Housekeeping Cookbook. For this recipe, you are going to need two cups of brown sugar, one cup of all-purpose flour, optional one cup of chopped nuts, a half a cup of vegetable shortening, two eggs, two teaspoons of double-acting baking powder, three-fourths teaspoon of salt, and two teaspoons of vanilla extract. You'll also need a 15 by 10 brownie pan and a mixer. The first thing you're going to do is combine all of the ingredients in a large bowl. Next, you get to have fun with the mixer. You're going to start it on low. Blend all the ingredients together. And then you're going to switch it into medium. While you're doing this, you're probably going to have to stop and scrape the gunk off of the mixer. Batter is absolutely delicious, by the way. It should sort of look like slightly chunky peanut butter when you're done. And next, you're going to grease and flour a pan. I usually use margarine. I don't use the spray stuff because I don't really like the taste of it, and I think margarine doesn't really add any taste to it. It just prevents stuff from burning. And as you can see, I put flour in it. What I usually do is I put a bunch of flour in, and then I shake it back and forth so that it covers the whole pan. And you're going to put this in this. It's very, very difficult to spread this stuff. So you'll probably want a rubber spatula, and you're going to do quick strokes back and forth until you get it all spread out. And it's going to make a very, very thin layer of brownie mix. Your oven's going to be on 350. I have mine on 325 since it's a very powerful oven. They're done! They should be golden brown. After they've cooled for about five minutes, you're going to try and gently take them out. The recipe says use a pancake flipper. But I have a knife and a spatula. And you're going to put them on either a cooling rack or aluminum foil, which is a good alternative if you don't have a cookie or brownie cooling rack. And there you go, chewy caramel brownies. You want to wait a while before you start to take them out of the pan because they... Yes, like a... <laughs> Say hi! Hi! Haunted Koala here! <laughs> You're going to want to wait like 10 to 15 minutes before trying to take them out of the pan. And that's it for this Tuesday's recipe vlog. Tune in next Tuesday for another recipe. If you have any suggestions as to what I can make next time, or any other time, please leave a comment below. I am open to all suggestions. And that's it for now. Thumbs up, and subscribe if you want more of... A random Italian cooking fest. Yes, basically. <laughs>